What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be playing with makeup and kind of just relaxing, chatting, um, sharing some things that I'm looking forward to in 2021, some things that I have put in my heart as a goal and wanted to share with you guys. I genuinely just wanted to play with makeup because I've just been missing doing my makeup so i just wanted to sit down and film myself doing my makeup and kind of chatting with you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this like very chill mellow video this is the makeup look that i came up with i wanted to do something that really um accentuated my eyes because as you guys might know i have very hooded lids so i wanted something that naturally brought out my eyes and then just a nude lip this is kind of like my everyday glam lately so i want to share it with you guys and i hope you guys enjoy all right, so let's get into this makeup look. I kind of just want to have like a casual makeup and chill to just kind of chat, um, share with you guys some new makeup that I've got and also chat about 2021. So for my eyes, I'm using this Madison Beer Morphe palette. It's the Channel Surfing Artistry palette. It's the Morphe and Madison Beer collab. It is so pretty. I feel like it has so many different tones that i can play with so i'm gonna be using that i want to do something that gives me like a lot of dimension on the eyes that kind of like opens up the eyes a bit so i'm gonna be taking my time and just kind of yeah playing with this i'm definitely gonna be taking my time with this look because i want to open up my eyes a lot and give myself like a natural crease but since i don't have like a cut crease i have to basically create it so that's kind of what i'm doing right now i'm just taking like a very neutral color and creating the crease that i want to work off uh, the entire look with. I'm using more of a like orange burnt color and I'm going to be blending that into the original color that I went with and just kind of intensifying that faux crease that we're creating. I'm just blending it all together and again I'm taking my time because I really want to achieve that very like not harsh but very like natural yet harsh crease if that makes sense something that i've noticed with shadow is if the more gentle you are and the slower you take like the the more time you take to really achieve the look the better the look turns out <laughs> because you're really being intentional with the colors you're using and you're also kind of taking your time so i'm kind of just blending very very just with a light hand and kind of just letting the shadows do its thing now I'm going in with like a chocolate brown and I'm really going in with like a very dense brush to a dense but fluffy brush. Something that's going to be precise but also blend away the shadow. And this brush is my favorite when trying to achieve very precise but blended looks. And then I always like to keep the original brush that I used handy to blend out any harsh lines. And again, I'm just being very, very gentle. And I'm just going to continue intensifying that crease with that chocolate color. Just enough where it gives me that natural shadow of a crease. It kind of helps if you keep the mirror like right below your nose so that you can see the natural shadows of your eye. And that way you can kind of almost trace it to mimic how your eye should naturally crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease with some concealer and I'm not using a lot because I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible. If I use a lot of concealer, then it's gonna look super cut, but I just kind of want something that will enhance the uh, crease that I've created. So I'm using a light amount of concealer and just cutting that crease. I'm gonna go back in with that very precise brush and blend out the crease even more so it looks a little bit more seamless. I don't want it to look too like cut. I kind of want something that's like effortless, but it looks like I tried a little bit at the same time. I'm gonna get some of the lightest shade in this palette. It's kind of like a pale color and I'm gonna use that to place it all over the lid, basically everywhere where we put the concealer to again accentuate the lid then i also like taking that same light color and placing it on the eyebrow like on the uh, brow bone to kind of create an even more contrast on the crease i wanted to do a very natural quick 
eye look because I really wanted to hurry up and get to the face because there's a couple products that I got that I'm excited to use. For lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Lights and I'm just going to pop these on. These lashes are perfect for a natural look like this because the eyes are so natural that a glam set of lashes goes perfectly because it's not like too crowded. It's like the perfect balance of a natural eye and a dramatic lash. Alright, so lashes are on and as you can see they added a lot of glam to the look. I'm most excited about using this Becca under eye brightening corrector and honestly it's because my under eyes lately have been giving me so much trouble because um, I switched from using under eye cream uh, to every other day instead of every day and that's simply because I noticed that I started to get like little white bumps under my eyes which I assumed was because I used that cream every single day. You're honestly not supposed to use under eye cream that often so I've kind of stopped doing that but it's resulted in some bags so I'm excited to use this corrector. It, I got the light to medium shade. I should have done like one with one without but I don't want to end up looking crazy so just going to do both so you guys can see how it works and then I'm going to go on top with foundation. And see if this makes a difference. Hopefully it does because I'm struggling. So now I'm going to go in with foundation and I'm using my Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever or lately I guess I should say because I haven't tried every foundation ever made. But this is just the one that I've been grabbing more. I love this foundation because it is honestly very full coverage. Um, I tend to gravitate towards foundations that are super full coverage because I have, you know, my acne scars and I just, I am a, a needy gal when it comes to foundation. So I need something that's really going to cover everything and I love the way this foundation does just that. The only thing about this foundation is it dries really fast. So you want to work in sections or else it's going to be really hard to like seamlessly blend on the face. So that's why I kind of like to work in sections with this one because I don't want to have trouble blending it out. And you can always build it up, get more coverage if you need. So I wanted to share on here just kind of what I'm looking forward to for 2021. I know a lot of us are kind of like on edge about this new year because obviously this 2020 year has, or last year, 2020 was insane for a lot of people, just very unexpected things, very tragic things. So I'm really going off of that um, idea of not having much expectations because it's kind of just best, in my opinion, to just roll with the punches. Obviously, it's good to plan and like have a plan, but it's good to kind of prepare yourself for the worst and to have in mind like you know, it's okay if your plan doesn't go as planned, you know what I mean? I feel like last year, 2020 really taught us all just how to prepare for the unexpected and to be ready for the fact that not everything is under our control. So I'm kind of going into 2021 with that mindset. Like if things happen that are out of our control, don't freak out. Uh, trust God because if he got us through last year, he's going to get us through this year. For concealer, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And I kind of like to mix it. So I'll use this one for the inner part of my eye. Um, just to kind of really conceal because this one really helps conceal but not really brighten because I didn't get the uh, correct shade. So I just like to apply this under... I like to let it sit for a little bit and then on top I'll go with my e.l.f. camo concealer because this one is super light so it gives me like the light brightening effect that I'm looking for. So I kind of just like to mix these two together. So like I was saying, um, I'm definitely looking forward to 2021 and hoping it was better than 2020 but I'm not holding on to it. <laughs> I'm just kind of going with the flow. Uh, but a few things that I do really want to work on this new year is I feel like this new year is the year of if I had to describe it in one word it would probably be like the year of intention where I really feel called or I guess like pushed to 
really make sure, really analyze one, my intention behind everything that I do, but also make sure that my intentions behind everything that I do is pure. Because I feel like last year, I was kind of just going through the motions and kind of just, uh, just like existing, not really living, if that makes sense. Like I was just kind of doing stuff that I was used to, things that I was really accustomed to being a part of my routine, but I wasn't really analyzing my intentions behind it and why I felt the need to do the things that I did. But now I really feel like I need to really make sure everything I do is with the right intention and not just because I'm used to doing it. So I'm looking forward to that for sure because I feel like we should all strive to have intention and make sure that like we are doing things in life with the right heart and with the right intention, you know what I mean? So this year is a whole lot of asking God to search me and to reveal my true intentions and make sure they're aligned with his character. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Morphe Translucent Bake and Set Setting Powder. I've only used this a couple times. I haven't used it enough to kind of like know if I like it or not. So um, I will definitely let you guys know if I like it. I was just really in need of a new under eye cream uh, powder, a new setting powder, because the one that I had, the Wet n Wild one, it was good for a while, but then it started drying my under eyes like bad. I don't know if it was a concealer I was using with it, but I want something that's not going to dry my under eyes, but that is going to set it, if that makes sense. I really want to cream con uh, contour just because, I don't know, I'm feeling a little extra. So I want to see how cream contouring would look with this L'Oreal Infallible uh, Full Wear Concealer. But this is in, obviously in a darker shade in Honey. I just want to see... If this would give me the good contour that I'm looking for. And then I got these really cool brushes from um, Eco Tools that I want to try out. It came with this small size, this larger size, and then a smaller size, which I used to uh, blend out when I concealed my brows. And I liked it, but I want to use this for bronzing to see if it will blend well. This is obviously making me look crazy, so I'll be here blending until I don't look wild. <laughs> See, this is the thing about um, makeup. You look so crazy during the process, but then once everything is blended, you look, you're like, okay, I'm glad I trusted the process. Or at least that's what you hope, because sometimes there's been occasions where things look crazy and then it still ends up looking crazy at the end so I'm kind of just like left in limbo but let's see let's blend all this out I don't know about that brush I don't think it was the right one to use to blend out my bronzer because it was kind of just spreading it everywhere and not blending it so I'm just going to stick with my real techniques brush for now and try to use that equal tools brush for something else oh, this is the only thing i don't like about cream contouring is how long it takes to blend all this out but it's okay it's worth it i feel like it gives a nice natural not natural there's nothing natural about this it just gives a nice like undertone to your bronzer i guess the good thing about cream contouring is you can always clean it up so i feel like i went a little bit too down with both of them so i'm just going to clean it up with the same translucent powder i used i'm going to just use another one of my Real Technique sponge that I have that I use specifically for powders and I'm just going to let that set under here to clean up this contour. While that's kind of doing its thing, I'm going to um, do some wing liner and I haven't done wing liner in quite some time so I'm kind of going to just focus and see where it takes me. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner which honestly her brand is not even Kat Von D anymore so this should tell you how old this is. Um, I think her brand is like Vegan Beauty or something. I'm not really sure. I'm going to start by lining just my lash line. Alright, so it's not the best wing liner that I've like ever done, but it's okay. I'll take it because it's been quite a while since I've done it. And honestly, I should have done it before I put lashes on because I could have seen my lash line better. But um, it's alright. We're just going to keep it moving. I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes 
to make sure that my falsies and my real lashes are blended out. So I'm going to continue to finish off the eyes and I'm going to be using the NYX uh, black eye pencil. This is the slide on glide on stay on eye pencil and I'm, it's in black and I'm just going to use this to line my waterline. And I'm also going to tight line up here. And then I'm going to just start smoking it out with some of the shadows we use to create that natural crease on the lids. This is like a chocolate color. I'm going to use a little bit of a lighter shade to create a little bit more of like that blend. I'm using like a orangey shade to go under it. So it kind of looks like it's going from light, dark darker. Lastly, I'm going to go in with mascara for the bottom lashes to bring those bottom lashes to life. What I was saying about this year and how I said this year is like the year of intention and pure intentions, I wanted to share, for example, so a quick example that I feel like I'm already going to be implementing. So, for example, towards the end of last year, so like a couple a week ago, <laughs> a couple days ago, I was getting back into working out, um, but my intention behind working out was because I was very, I am very unsatisfied with how my body is right now. Like, I am just gaining back a lot of the weight that I lost, and I'm just not happy overall with my body. But I realized that my intention behind working out shouldn't be because I'm unhappy. It should be because... I want to protect my body, take care of my body, and stay active, if that makes sense. So, so really quickly, I'm going to use one of the sparkly shadows and put that on the inner corner. I haven't done this in so long, but I feel like it'll add a nice little touch to this look. But yeah, that's kind of what my vibe is, you know? It's just kind of realizing, being nice to myself, and letting myself be true to what I'm feeling, you know what I mean? I want to stay true to my emotions and really make sure that I'm processing everything that comes my way and not just like doing things out of habit or doing things because I it seems to be what's right but really because I feel in my heart that it's the right thing to do. So I just feel like overall it'll give me a lot of peace of mind and it'll make me a lot more at peace with um living in general because i'm done with anxiety and i'm done with all the just the overwhelming feelings i want to be at peace with myself and i want to be at peace with those around me so that requires me really analyzing my intentions and making sure that they're pure and that i'm being true to who i am as a person honestly that's all that i had for this year i mean there's obviously a couple goals that i put in place to make sure that i keep my intentions in check for example I want to increase my devotional times per week. I want to exercise a certain amount of times per week. Things like that. But I honestly didn't put too much pressure on myself because, again, like, we just... <laughs> that TikTok that's been going around that's, like, list, like that's saying <laughs> everybody walk into 21, 2021 quietly. Don't touch anything. That's literally how I feel. Like, let's just move day by day obviously it's good to have goals but you know don't put too much pressure on yourself it, i'm going to spritz my face before i go in with highlight it's just something that i like to do to kind of bring my face back to life after using all those powders for highlight i'm going to be using the lancome sparkling petch i think it's called but it looks like this it's gorgeous i actually think i'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corner to intensify this because I want a bit of glam in here. It is very glittery, which is not what I'm used to for highlight, but I feel like overall it gives a nice like highlight to the face. So I've been loving it. Oh yeah, this side was definitely ready for some highlight. I just feel like it glides on the skin very nicely. And unlike a lot of powdered highlights, it doesn't like really accentuate my texture. Um, like other highlighters do i just feel like it's very buttery so i love this highlight you know what i forgot to do i forgot to set my powder my bronzer <gasps> how dare i it's like i really do forget to set my bronzer though so i'm gonna go in with some powdered bronzer it's a light amount to just set 
and I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Tequila Tan. I really like this bronzer. The shadow is great. I mean, the shade is great for me. For blush, I'm going to use Tarte's Party because it's very neutral. And I don't want anything to take away too much from the look. So I'm just going to do something very neutral. Like so. Um, I'm actually going to go in with some more highlight because I think my bronzer took a little bit of it away. But we're kind of going to just go lightly over it again. And also because this, this highlight is just, it's just gorgeous. I'm going to be quickly setting my face again with my MAC foundation. Uh, just in the areas where I think I got a little bit carried away with um, bronzer and blush because I kind of want my face to look nice and even. So I'm going to just go over that area with that. And then I'm moving on to lips, which is my probably most exciting part because I think I found my new favorite combo to give me like that perfect nude or the nude that I like. So I'm using Morphe's Lip Liner and Bite Me and I'm going to outline my entire lips with this. And then as you can see, it's like super dark. And then on just the top layer, I'm gonna fill in my lips very lightly. Maybe like more than halfway, but not all the way. And then I'm going to go in with KKW's lipstick in Nude 1. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips. And then using my finger, I'm just going to kind of blend it into the liner. And then a little trick that I like to do after I do my liner is I like to go back in with the original liner in case like I lost some of it. Like as you can see here, it got a little smudged. So I just like to go over it with the original liner and re-outline my lip. Now, I do want it to be just a tad bit lighter in the center. So I'm going to take my Camo Concealer from e.l.f. and apply a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on my ring finger and tap it off and then go in the center and kind of blend it out. This kind of helps lighten up the lipstick. All right, so that's basically the look. I'm just going to spray my entire face again for some extra support. And voila, we're basically done with the look. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing with makeup and sharing with you guys some of my goals for 2021. I really, really wish everybody the best year you've ever had. Let's make the most out of it after such a rough year. I really am praying and hoping for the best in all of your guys' lives and in everyone's life all over the world. I just feel like we all deserve a better year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what some of your goals are for this year and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!